Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do a review on the Sony Xperia U. Xperia U is a pretty interesting device. It's all about pretty much packing as much power and features as you can in a pretty small and uh, sort of sleek form factor here. You can automatically see the, you know, small in stature with a 3.5 inch display. It's a very high resolution display that uses the Bravia mobile engine, so you're going to really see how crisp the visuals look on that. It's not thin, it's pretty thick, as you can see there with it, but um, it has a nice sort of a uh, very sleek look to it, sort of curved right here in the middle so it fits comfortably in the hand, it has a nice finish here on the back. It does have a removable battery, just show you guys that, so you can pop out the battery if you want to. Yeah, it does have on the back here a 5 megapixel camera with 720p video capture. The um, um, the camera itself is uh, pretty decent, uh, it, it, it's pretty good especially for the size here for 5 megapixels and also with the uh, the video quality as well, pretty good uh, video quality with it, only a 720p, but it's good for the, just like I said, just for the form factor of this device. Other features that you see here is that when uh, when the phone is on, you can see that it lights up right here at the bottom with sort of this uh, blue light that you saw there. And right below that, you may not be able to see it, but it has the, sort of the icons for back, home, and uh, menu to navigate through the operating system. And you basically just tap here at the top, top and above it to access those specific things. It is running Android uh, 2.3 uh, Gingerbread with Timescape UI on top of it. It's um it's okay. Um, it's disappointing that it's Gingerbread, it's such an old operating system now. It's a little bit on the laggy side from time to time. It's more or less so because probably Android 2.3 more so. The dual, the dual core 1 gigahertz processor should be enough to sort of push this through. But, you know, that's obviously, we you know, the shortcomings of gingerbread here. It does have, like I said, pretty decent uh, video video and image quality with it. See, here even at 3.5 inches, you can just see how sharp and clear the visuals are here on it. And um, well, let's see, here. let's go through here, show you some of the uh, software, preloaded software, Timescape UI, of course, a few different things here. You have a timer, stopwatch. Now, nothing really preloaded from a carrier because this isn't carrier brand or specific. This is one of the phones you buy unlocked on its own and you put your own SIM card from whatever company you want with it. It does have uh, HSPA 14.4, so it's not the fastest in terms of data speeds with it, but it is a global phone you'll be able to take anywhere with you and on the go, so that's pretty cool to have that. Show you the camera application just one more time here. You can see there um, what the camera is pretty much what you typically see in most Sony devices in the camera application. You don't have too much choice. You do have 3D uh, sweep, uh, multi angle panorama, 3D sweep panorama, and you can switch to the front facing uh, um, camera as well, too, if you want to. Have different settings and such for that. Pretty nice, uh, nifty little thing here. Let's see if you can go to the back here so we can get to the menu. You can change the scenes, you can change the resolution. For right now it's on three. We can change it up to Five there like that. Let's have different options as well too to go through. It's a pretty nifty right there. Uh, battery life is pretty decent on it. It's typical Android 2.3 as far as the battery life is concerned. Power using it, you're going to be charging throughout the day. If you're light, light, very light user, you'll probably be able to get just about a day out of it. I would say so with it. We can go here. You're going to notice the keyboard is very tiny, just to let you know here. So, so if you have big hands like I do. It's going to be a little bit difficult to, uh, to type on. You can see right there, so just be wary of that. But um, overall, it's a pretty cool device, uh, specifically kind of, it, it's sort of, it's a mini power device kind of packing uh, some pretty neat, decent power with a removable battery. Unfortunately, there's no expandable storage, so you're stuck with the four gigabytes that it comes with. But overall, pretty little decent device here from um, Sony. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. If you like this review, you know, give us a thumbs up and a like, of course. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Connect with us on all our social media. The link to that is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.